All right, everyone, in this video, we're gonna talk about what to include in your SMMA website. Hey everybody, David Schleiss back here again with Two Guys Build A Biz on YouTube, the best place on YouTube for anything related to starting, growing, or scaling your social media marketing agency or business online. If those topics are relevant to you, why not hit subscribe and hang out with us? And don't forget to hit bell notifications so that you'll be alerted the next time that we post a free piece of valuable content just like this one. We do have one request, and that is that if you find this video valuable, why not hit the like button? It really helps out the channel a lot. It tells YouTube that this is a valuable piece of content, and it also helps out your aspiring fellow entrepreneurs who might be looking for pieces of valuable content just like this one. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about what to include in your SMMA website. So this has to be one of the most frequently asked topics that I've seen, especially in Facebook groups, YouTube comments, so on and so forth when it comes to starting your agency. If you've never built a website before, it can seem totally overwhelming to have to build this web property to host your entire brand online. The reality is though, it can be incredibly straightforward and you can set it up in almost no time at all. Even if you have no prior experience, no clients to speak of, you still have a lot that you can talk about and a lot of ways you can build credibility with your SMMA website. To be completely honest with you, for the first roughly three and a half years of our agency, our website was one single landing page. We collected millions of dollars in invoices in that period of time. We never had a single person say that our website wasn't up to spec. So believe me when I say, if we can do it all with one simple website and a logo that we created ourselves in Photoshop with no experience using Photoshop, you can do the same with your SMA website and be off to the races and start invoicing clients in no time. So let me go ahead and jump into my computer and I'll talk about what you should include. All right, so for the purpose of this video, we're gonna cover what you should include in your website, the basics and everything that you should know about creating your SMMA website website. If it would be useful for you guys for me to create a video walking through the actual creation and updating of a website, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be happy to do that for you guys. If you didn't know, a lot of these videos that we create are actually from your guys' questions. So feel free to engage us in the comments. And again, let me know if you'd like to see that video of me walking you through creating this website. All right. So for our agenda today, we're going to answer the question, first of all, does your agency need a website? See this all the time and I've got an answer for you. We're going to talk about what you need. We're going to talk about some of the platforms that you should use. And finally, we're going to cover what to include and I'll even give you a one-click install template that you can use right away. All right, so the first question is, does your agency need a website? I see this asked all the time. And the reality is, with as easy it is to create websites these days, there's really no reason why your agency shouldn't have a website. There are site builders that range from five, eight dollars per month, all the way up to fifty dollars per month, all of which can do the purposes of getting your agency launched and off the ground. The biggest thing that you're going to gain from your SMMA website, first of all, is going to be confidence. You're going to have confidence in the fact that you have a real brand, that you have a place where your agency agency lives online and where you can send people when you're out networking, when you're meeting them in person, or when you might be calling them on the phone. Especially if you're doing any sort of cold email outreach or DM outreach of any kind, one of the first places that they're going to go is your website. One question I see fairly frequently is, can I just use my agency Facebook page? And I definitely wouldn't recommend it. Facebook is always changing the layout and everything, and it's tough for people to find information. And additionally, it's just not the same as a regular website. This is something you can build in a couple of hours at the most, including designing your own logo. And I definitely recommend going that route and just calling it done. Eventually, this is also a place where you can send people once you start spending money on ads and they can actually fill out the form, book appointments outright with your agency without you ever even having to talk to them. This is how we get most of our clients today. A lot of our clients are actually inbound. We don't do a lot of outbound anymore just because we built such a name for ourselves and our niche. People are giving each other our name all the time and there is booking directly through our calendar link on our website. It eliminates a lot of friction and I'm glad that we have it set up that way. So now let's talk about what you need in order to build your website. The first thing that you're gonna need is your domain. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you already have a name for your agency, but if you don't, this is going to be the name.com domain or web property that you point people to to visit your website online. Think agencyname.com, agencyname.net, .us, .au, wherever. It can be anything that you want, but we always recommend starting with .com just because that's going to be what most people go and type into their web browser. The next thing that you're going to need is some sort of web builder or platform. I'm going to go ahead and guess that most of us aren't developers who are going to be coding their own website, but if you are, good for you. So you're probably going to want to set up for some sort of website builder and I'll cover those in the next slide. The next thing you need is some sort of logo or brand. Like I said earlier in the video, Derek and Mai's first logo we actually created in Photoshop. It was just three simple letters with a circle around it. Oddly enough, we got tons of comments on that logo and it's something that I built in Photoshop in a couple of hours and I had no prior experience using Photoshop. So that should give you some indication of the level of design expertise that was involved in that logo. So if I can do it, 
you can do it. Canva is a great place that you can actually create logos. There's all sorts of logo creators online these days, or you could always go to Upwork or Fiverr and have somebody create it for you, but it might take them a couple days to turn it around. And finally, while you're creating this, you're gonna wanna create a email for your business as well. This is gonna correspond with everyone, and a lot of the site builders these days will actually prompt you to create a Google Workspace address when you start creating your website. So it's super easy, you can do it all in one go, and you're ready to rock. Otherwise, you can just Google Google Workspace, and it'll take you through the steps to set it up and map it to the domain that you purchased. There are a ton of different web platforms available today, and a lot of drag and drop website editors, but some of my favorites to recommend are definitely gonna be the three on this slide. Squarespace is gonna be the most professional. They've got some of the best looking design templates out there. They've got a lot of different formulas that you can use depending on your style. The one drawback to Squarespace is that it is the most expensive. Other than ClickFunnels are high level, Squarespace comes to the top of the list. I believe that as of the publishing of this video, it's like $60 or something per month, which is definitely on the higher end. However, you get what you pay for. It's a great wizard when you set it up. It's very straightforward to build your website and literally anybody could do it. The next website builder on the list is Wix.com. Wix.com is one of the oldest site builders that's been around forever. I remember there was kids I went to high school with who were building websites on Wix way back in the day. It's kind of a mid-tier price. It's not the cheapest. It's not the most expensive. It doesn't have the best templates. It doesn't have the worst templates. So it's a solid middle of the road and definitely a site builder that I vetted heavily and would recommend. Finally, another website builder that we really like is called imcreator.com. When Derek and I were first getting started, we were trying to find the cheapest ways to start our business. We didn't know that we were going to close our first client at $3,000 per month a couple weeks into running our agency. So we did some Googling and we came across a site builder called I'm Creator. At the time, it was like $8 or something per month. It had some amazing looking templates. And that's the website that we used for the first several years of running our agency. It was super modern looked really great and they've really done a good job of keeping their template library up to date. There are some quirks about the platform, but those are definitely worth the trade-off of, of it being by far the cheapest on this list. A couple other great platforms are going to be ClickFunnels and High Level. You probably have heard about these all the time in different agency videos, different agency courses. We use both of these ourselves and I definitely recommend them. However, if you're trying to get your agency started for the cheapest dollar amount, they can kind of be overkill when you're first getting started. If you're going to be doing general social media management or simple social media services, you might not need to build funnels for your clients right away, even though we recommend that service model. ClickFunnels and High Level are also a couple other platforms that you probably have heard about if you've been in the agency space for a while. While they are incredibly powerful, robust, and we use both of them for our agency, they are by far the most expensive. Think several hundred dollars per month. So if you're first getting started, they can be a high cost when you could build your own website, get some agency money in the door, and then use that to reinvest in something like ClickFunnels or High Level. If I had it to do over again, I probably would do the exact same thing that we did, which is start with a cheaper site builder, close a couple clients, and then reinvest that in ClickFunnels and high level down the line. However, it's totally up to you. If you want to go the ClickFunnels or high level route, I'm actually going to link down below some share funnel links where you can one click install a couple of funnel templates right into your accounts. Now let's talk about what to include. So the first thing that you're going to want is your custom domain. I talked about this earlier in the video. The next thing that you're going to want is your headline. Some call this your hero text. It looks like this. In this case, here's a funnel template that I'm actually going to give you in the description down below. You'll click that button and it'll install this exact template into your ClickFunnels or high level account. At the top here, we have the headline. We help your business grow. When we were first getting started, we were working with a lot of small businesses. So our headline was we help small businesses grow. And that really resonated with small business owners. They saw that at the top, they said these guys understand us and they were more inclined to give us their business. So this can be anything that you want. However, we do recommend obviously customizing this to talk about your specific niche or the industry that you're working in. If you're keeping your agency general, that doesn't necessarily need to be a specific niche. Like in our case, it was general small businesses, but you want to be talking directly to the type of people that you're reaching out to in the text that you use here. The next thing that you're going to want is something that talks about your agency. We do that here and we also do that down here, down below, where we talk and expand a little bit more about our expertise, clout in the industry, and you can do the same. This is all placeholder text, so I would go ahead and update this to talk about your specific experience and your specific agency. Another key piece that you're going to want is your services. If you're looking for more information on what services to provide, I'll link to another video down in the description down below that talks about what agency services we recommend that you provide with your SMMA. You can see here that we've got a couple different sections on this site where you can go ahead and talk about the services that you offer. Something that you're going to want to definitely have is a way for businesses to contact you. In the case of this funnel, I created what's called a calendar booking link. So when you click this button, it goes ahead and actually pulls up a calendar on which your prospects can go ahead and just book an appointment outright. They can select a time, 
pick what works for them, and then go ahead and confirm that booking. This is done with a free resource called Calendly, and people are using it all over the internet today. You probably have seen it yourself. Finally, the last thing that you're going to want to include is a call to action. In the case of this website, it's these buttons here that go ahead and open the pop-up and tell them that it's time to go ahead and book a call. We've got clear direction on what the next step is, and they can go ahead and self-service that booking themselves. Totally optional, but you can also include a contact form here as well, where they can go ahead and fill out their name, email, their company name, and whatever notes they have or why they're inquiring. But we found that it actually increases conversion a little bit if we just give them the calendar link right there and they can shortcut the whole email exchange of trying to figure out a time. Again, totally up to you and how you wanna do things with your business. So that's all that you need to include in your website to get started and to be off to the races with your agency and start chasing down clients. I'd love to hear what questions you guys have in the comments down below. As always, we look at those, we chat with you guys and spend tons of fun getting to know some of you better in the recent video comments. Don't forget, if you think that would be helpful for me to walk you through actually creating and updating that template, let me know and I'll create a follow-up video doing that for you guys. You can grab that template down below. I'm going to link it and all you have to do is click that button once and it'll install into your ClickFunnels or high-level account. Finally, if you found this video valuable, go ahead and hit the like button. Again, it really helps out the channel. And that's all that there is to creating your SMA website. Like I said, Derek and I, we had a simple one-page website for years, closed millions of dollars in business, and never once heard that our website wasn't sufficient. Less is more. Keep it simple. Create your website. And I'd love to actually take a look at some of your guys' websites. Link them down below and I'll let you know what I think. That's all for today. We'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified the next time that we post a video just like this one.